So here we are with the SST that I built for 20 meters. Um, it does drive headphones very nicely to a very adequate volume, but it doesn't drive a speaker very well. So I've got, for the purposes of this demo, I've got, a, got the rig plugged into an external amplifier. By the way, the external amplifier tends to accentuate bass notes a little bit. So uh, it, it's not great for communication. It's more of a, it's actually the sound system I use used to use for my voiceover work. Uh, but anyway, that's enough of that. And the other thing I will say is this camera, the audio on this camera is not very good. And I, I must tell you that the rig sounds a lot nicer than it will on this audio. Um, so anyway, oh, and the other thing I want to tell you is that, as I mentioned in the blog post, I put values in this crystal filter, values of capacitor, to purposely widen it out because the stock filter, the stock values, uh, make it very narrow, about two or three hundred hertz in width, and I prefer a wider filter. So there's a, a weekend sprint going on for the SKCC. Um, a lot of straight keys on the air right now, and you may hear several signals at the same time. And it's I, I kind of like a wide filter. That's just me. So anyway, now now that I've said all that, I bet we won't hear a thing. <laughs> okay, let, let's see. Th this rig, by the way, my version, it covers about 14.055 at the bottom to about 14.064, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice range centered around the, the QRP frequency of 14.060. Oh, here we go. Let me lower the blind a little bit so you can see that LED. Maybe I can turn the rig a bit because I think the LED is a bit directional. There we go. I'm not going to call anybody uh, because a lot of the exchanges are fairly slow in this particular contest, so it will probably take quite a lot of time. I've got this rig set up for um, for about a 400 hertz side tone, so. Uh, if you're wondering why my I'm tuning it so that it seems to peak at a fairly low pitch, that's why most people seem to prefer six, seven, or even eight hundred hertz. I turn a little bit of light on it there. There we go, a little bit more light. That, by the way, is the the command button for the Kia. That's the speed control, the speed pot for the Kia. You won't get to see that in action in this particular video because right now I've got the rig set up for a straight key, which I'm not, not going to use. I'm just letting you hear the receiver. And that's the gain control. And of course, that's that, that's that little uh, LED for the AGC. Three parts, an LED, a capacitor, and a one millihenry choke make up the AGC. It's pretty neat. And on top of that, the LED doubles up as a sort of indicator. See, it's not super narrow, but I, this is the way I like the filter. Or if I can find a strong signal. That's not strong, but listen as I tune through the signal. Let's see what the opposite sideband suppression is. See, can't hear him. I do hear the opposite sideband very weakly on a really strong signal, so I think that means I've got pretty good sideband suppression. I only hear the opposite sideband on very, very strong signals, so it stinks songs, uh, signals that are well over S9. So seeing that uh, an S unit is about 6 dBs, um, that, that must mean I'm getting sideband suppression of what? Probably like 50 dBs or more, which is great, I think. 45, 50, maybe more. That's NB8F. 
and, and that buzzing you heard when his signal got a bit louder, that's actually my speaker. It's sitting on um, an oscilloscope that buzzes. So it's got nothing to do with the, the sound of the radio. Look at me making excuses and apologizing for my rig already. By the way, I worked Hawaii a couple of hours ago on this rig. KH6, I forget his course on now, something or other, in this particular sprint. So my 2.25 watts made it the 3,000 miles across the water from California to Hawaii. He gave me a 549. W5FKW, that's who that guy is. Anyway, I think that's about it, seeing as I'm not going to show you a QSO on this particular video. But that's the SST that I built for 20 meters, and I think it's pretty. It's a pretty rocking little rig. It's, it's a really cracking little radio, actually. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. The receiver does perform well. You know, I think that Wayne N6KR really... I've said this a number of times online. I think he really hit the sweet spot um, between circuit simplicity and performance. I, I think it's about 80 parts, roughly, give or take, um, and it's it's a nice receiver. Um, you know, it does have a, an SA602 in the front end mixer, in the, in the first mixer, uh, which some people say, oh, well, you know, uh, those things crumble in the presence of strong signals. Well, there is an RF gain control in the back of this rig, but I haven't had to use it yet, and I've heard other users say that they rarely had to use it. Uh, so, um, no, it's, it's a great little receiver and it's a fantastic little rig. I, I really recommend you build one if you have a chance. Thanks for watching this video. And this is a great video. You know what? I haven't been uh, interrupted by one of my cats this time, so it's, uh, it's kind of nice for a change. Sorry, Jingles. Didn't, don't take that personally.